बुरा फर्न आंसर बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स लास्ट क्लास वी कैन बी डिस्कस अबाउट दी व्हाट इज द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ द एनर्जी क्राइसिस व्हाई इट शुड बी द कॉजेस ऑफ द दिस एनर्जी क्राइसिस वी कैन बी डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लास इज इट अंडर दैट वन इनकनवेंशन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज अंडर सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द नॉन रिन्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी हाउ वी शुड बी द डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर ऑल दिस वी कैन बी डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट सेशन So we already discussed about the wind energy and also solar energy in the in the non-renewable source of energy. So we already know that the energy which can be trapped from the sun that is we can be called as the solar energy. Now we can be used for the, this energy for the cooking purpose and photovoltaics which are we can be used for the electrical energy and also can be used to the profit signals also. So next one is. Solar energy are the broadly categorized either passive solar or also active solar depending on the way of capture. So how much of the solar energy we can be trapped from the nature? So that should be also depend upon to that one. So this technique is also it can be used for the photovoltaic panels. So when the photovoltaic panels we can be our we can use to that one the large amount of the solar energy we can be trapped that one that solar thermal. Correct the harm is the energy. So here passive solar techniques include orienting the building the sun, selecting material of the paper work for the thermal mass. It means large amount of the solar energy should be trapped from the sun, and also this light dispersing properties and design in the spaces that naturally circulate here. So this is another passive solar and also active solar panels. So next one is biomass. So, what is the meaning of the biomass energy? So, biomass means nothing but a plant or animal waste materials, which is we can be called as the biomass. So, it is also we can be called as the renewable source of energy. So, because the energy contains come from the sun. So, biomass means plants and animals are also we should be also captured from the sun also through the process of the photosynthesis. They will capture the sun energy. So, we know that the plants which can be Prepare their own food with the help of the sunlight, water, and other carbon dioxide. So this main source of energy should be also sunlight. Hence, it can be called as the sun is one of the source of energy in the biomass. So we know that the plants are burned; they can be release the energy contained in this way. Biomass function is a sort of natural battery for storing the solar energy. So biomass is the plants which can be the burning. So that should be large amount of the energy should be released. So that is also we can be called as the solar energy as long as biomass is produced to sustain the energy. Okay, much uses as in grow the battery will be lost and then it will be. So biomass plant we can be called for that one. So generally there are two main approaches to using the plants for the energy production. One is growing plants specifically for the energy use and using the residual. Residue plants that are used for the so some plants we can be used for the uh, petroleum product also so we can be called as the jarrofa so the jarrofa plant also we can in the days we can be used for the alternative for the uh, diesel purpose also that is also one of the we can be called as the biomass energy so whatever residual part means the remaining part of the plants so that should be also we can be used to that one. The best approaches vary from the region to region according to climate, soil, and geography. So sunlight is not abundant in the nature, is it? So there is the variation in the maybe some of the climatic region and so soil and also some kind of the geographical area should be also variation. So this is the biomass resources. So what are the different types of the biomass resources? Is in home you can be taken from the sewage or waste materials. So some of the agricultural crops and residue materials, maybe forestry crops and their residue, industrial residue, animal residue, and also municipal wastes and materials. So these are all some of the example of the biomass waste materials. So how should be the conversion of the biomass to electricity? Means maybe in the case of the plants, we can be taking the fiber, that fiber pulp. Maybe it can be extracted, extracted from the pulp. That should be used for the paper or plywood, or it can be used to the cotton industry. 
this material used to the consumers again we can be processed to the sawdust so then principal waste material all we should be come to the this decomposition or combination so after complete decomposition of the this material either food product or consumer materials or uh, food materials so which are can be decomposed in the slurry tank that this should be the decomposition after a few days anaerobical activity so they can be produce the electricity also so we can be used to the electricity and also natural gas also we can be used to use the that one so fuel or biomass it should be the pressurized combustion so pressurized combustion combustion means we can be fuel the in the limited area so that is it can be as a pressurized combustion so after that one there will be the hot gas hot gas should be released the hot gas it can be filtered that one clean hot gas should be come that hot clean here we can be the when they should be the started to moving so the gas turbine which can be the generate the electricity so this is the how should be the biomass energy should be converted into electrical energy means so first of all in the so tank we can be take out that is the pressurized combustor after that one there is a hot gas that should be filtered to the clean hot air then we can be the that gas turbine so the turbine should be responsible for the generate the heat that heat should be converted into electricity so next one is tidal energy so tidal energy means what so it is also one of the another unlimited or inexhaustible source of energy we can recall that one so today you can be seeing that this is a gulf of petris but preferably suitable for the build up the electricity from the energy produced by high and low peak tides entering in the slender wings so it can be used in the rear the oceans have high waves so that region only we can see the this type of the energy so only the gulf countries they can be the installed for this type of the tidal energy we can see to that one they will be successfully handled and also they will be harnessing the this type of the energy also we can be see so this is the picture of the tidal energy so how should be the generator model so see this one so they will be the always in the depth of the sea so that the depth of the sea can be installed to that one so the turbines and also that so which can be the responsible for the generating of the this energy in the sea so this is also how should be the machine should be the installed in the ocean region so next one is biofuel so biofuel is it is nothing but a liquid fuel we can recall that one so liquid fuel usually either bio alcohol such as bio ethanol we can recall as the bio alcohol other name we can recall as the bio ethanol or and all such as bio diesel so biofuel means we can be used to the some of the plants which can be used for the diesel purpose that is we can recall as the bio diesel Bioethanol is an alcohol made up of fermenting the sugar components of the plant materials. So certain plant materials, so which can be the fermentation process of the sugar components, which can be the fermentation process. So they can be converted into ethanol. So most of the sugar and starch crops we can be used for these purposes. With advanced technology being developed, with cellulose biomass such as trees, grasses, and also used to develop. Feed stuff for the ethanol production. So you already know that uh, for the ethanol production, we can be used to the some of the crops or sugar or cellulose. So cellulose means generally the plants which can be contain the fiber. So that is it can be called as the cellulose content. These trees, grasses which can be the some of the feed stuff should be done for ethanol production. Ethanol can be used as a vehicle in the form in the pure form. So already we have heard that. So some of the plants which can be called as the jatropha type of the plants that should be also we can use to the this purposes but it is usually used as a gasoline and it will be used the octane and it will be vehicle combustion so not only we use it for the addition to the we can be used to the gasoline we can be added to the 
increase the octane and also improve the vehicle emission. So to increase the vehicle emission, it will be used to the this octet structure also. How should be the biodiesel should be formed? So biodiesel is made up of the sum of the vegetable oils, animal fat, or recycled greases. So what are the three main components? Means one is vegetable oil, animal fats. So then we can be seen in the recycled greases. So biodiesel can be used as a fuel for the vehicle in the fuel form. So we can be used in the this is the fuel form, but it is usually used as an additive reduce the levels of the particulates. Maybe some of the carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons of the diesel powered vehicles it can be used to this one. So biodiesel is also produced from the oil or fat using the trans esterification. So trans esterification means so some of the plant materials so which can be used for the biofuel that is we can be called as the trans esterification process. So this is the picture of the biofuel. So here some of the plants you can be seen in the growth of the algae. So they reached out the some of the nutrients, fat, sugar content of the material also we can be used to this one. So what is the meaning of the geothermal energy? So geothermal energy means geo means earth, is it? So inside the earth, so how the amount of the energy which can be the harnessing in the that one that is can be called as the geothermal energy. So it is also obtained by trapping the heat of the earth itself both from the kilometers of the deep inside the earth, earth crust, volcanic active volcanic location of the globe or from the shallow depth as in the geothermal heat from the most of the location of the planet. So geo means earth. So inside the earth, so there is this several kilometers. So maybe some of the 500 to 1000 kilometers depth inside the earth, there is some of the volcanic eruption also we can listen to that one. That heat energy we can be trapped from that one. So that is you can be called as the geothermal energy. It is also one of the expensive to build a power station but operating cost of the globe. So it is also usually it should be the High expensive, but it is the operating cost of the low, resulting in the low energy cost of the suitable site. So, some of the places we can be seen in, the, in our earth. So, maybe in our country, you can be seen in the Kutch or Ladakh. So, some of the northern countries, so sorry, northern in our kingdoms, you can be seen in the this type of the energy. Ultimately, this energy derived from the heat is not earth. So three types of the power plants are used to the generate the power from the geothermal energy. One is you can be called as the steam. So geothermal energy you can be obtained from the three different types. One is steam, then flash, and another one is the vitamin. So steam is what? So dry steam plants take the steam out the fracture of the ground and also use it to the directly to the turbine to steam a generator. Here, dry steam plants means they can be take out the steam out the fracture of the ground and also use it for the directly to the turbine that means in the generator so secondly flash plants means take out the hot water usually this temperature should be the at least 200 degrees centigrade so flash plants means we can take the hot water that hot water should be also out of the ground and allow it to boil as it rises the surface then separate the steam Separator and turns to the steam to the turbine. So when we take the particular region, so there is a some of the hot temperature, hot water should be also there, is it? So along with that one, whatever water should be come from the um, outside the earth, they can be converted into steam. So then that steam should be also we can be trapped for that one. So in the binary plants means the hot water flow through the heat. So binary plants means whatever hot water is there, there will be the pass on the exchanger. That exchanger means they will be boiling an organic fluid in the spin into the turbine. Whatever boiling water is there, that should be the converted into 
spinning the turbine, the condensed stream and remaining geothermal fluid from the three types of gas injected back to the hot or to the pick up the more heat. So this is it can be seen in the in the form of the nuclear energy. So in the nuclear power plant, of course, should be the turbines are there. So like that also you can listen to that one. In geothermal energy means the core of the earth. The core of the earth is closer to the surface area other than others. Where hot underground steam or water can be trapped under the surface, it may be generated electricity. Not all the places we can be harnessing the, this type of the energy. So only some of the places where hot underground steam or water we can be obtain then that region only we can be seeing in the this type of the geothermal energy. So these are the some of the renewable sources of energy. So next one is what are the advantages of these renewable sources of energy? So we know that renewable sources of energy means they will consist of the solar energy, hydro energy, water, wind energy, geothermal energy and biomass energy. Is it? So these are the common advantage each in the we cannot be depleted. So they will be how much of them can be used to the burn, they cannot be depleted in the nature also. So when we can be burnt that one, so there is the not polluted, much of the positive fuels. So if you compare the positive fuels, there will be less pollution also we can listen to that one. They are also clean energy and don't pollute the air and they do not contribute to the global warming or greenhouse effect. So next one is the sources are naturally cost population is reduced and they are the required less maintenance on their plants. So initial cost is so expensive means, but after that one, the cost of operation should be reduced. So then it can be a cost of operation should be the reduced and also require less maintenance to the blended plants. So what are the disadvantages of the this renewable source of energy? A common disadvantage is it is difficult to produce large quantity of the electricity in the counterpart of the fossil fuels are so compare the fossil fuels, so we cannot be obtain the electricity from the all these sources since they are also new technology, the cost initiative is also I already told that one. So this is one of the new technology and also the cost, initial cost effecting is also very high. So for example, if you install the wind energy means the turbines also very expensive, wind does not blow all the time. Is it so many in the winter season only they can be the blow that run. So they have to the part of a large plant. So next another one is if you come to the solar energy means the solar panels also very expensive. Government is not willing to buy home generator electricity, not how it is suitable for the solar panel. So the government is also not given to the any generated to the any generated to the home to the electricity also and also climatic region should be also not same in the all the seasons, is it? So next one is ways. So different technology also try to around the world, scientists are still waiting for the pillar product. So because ways cannot be, we can be harnessing about the all the season and also tides, whatever it can be, dam across the river more expensive in view. So tide means the Rivers which can be the joint to the ocean side, that is, it can be called as the tides. So, that most expensive, that river most should be the expensive to the mid and disturb the shipping. So, shipping means the ship movement you can be observed in the sea in the ocean, is it? So, that should be also disturbed to that one, and also smaller turbines are the cheaper and also easier to it can be installed to that one. So, next one is rivers. So in the case of construction of the dam means it is also very inexpensive and also it should be the gist of the environment, is it? So whatever polished area and also that paper which can be the live in the particular places also they can be also disturbed to that one. They also cause the some of the earthquake also you can be seen to that one. So because in the construction of the dam means they will be usually construct the high in the regions, is it? So geothermal means difficult to drill 2 or 3 km down into the earth. So geothermal means we have to the find out the places but we cannot be easily drilled. So even 
10 kilometers and also 12 kilometers too. So biofuel is also crop land and crops to produce the bio alcohol. This means more land has to be cleared to grow crops. So if you want to the biofuel means by the can be grow the grow only the this type of the plants means they can be needed to the more space to grow and uh, there is not enough food and also food become more expensive. So these are the, some of the drawback of the disadvantages of the renewable sources of energy. So lastly, we can be conclude that one. So what is the renewable and non-renewable sources of energy? So one is renewable means they will be continuously supplied. They can be replenished in a short period of time. Most of the sources are fairly non-polluting and also available easily. Is it? So non-renewable energy means they will be limited supply. It takes the form in longer time and cause polluting and also global warming. So this is the some of the difference between the renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. So today can be discussed about the some of the non-renewable sources of energy and their importance. So thank you, thank you and all.